The only thing worse than Sonic games is the fucking community oh, itself. Sorry. Kinda need to say something to catch you on. Now, if you all know my history, though, I love Sonic. I used, I used to love Sonic. I still love him, but, you know, of course, I'm just a skeptic. I'm sorry if I seem like an asshole at any point in this video, but seeing as the history and the track record of his recent games, I'm just a little bit pessimistic, but I'm hoping for him. I'm hoping and praying that this new trailer today for Sonic Forces coming to a bunch of consoles and the Nintendo Switch is going to help the little blue bastard out. Now, I've said it so many times, he can't fuck this one up. Sega, you better be putting all your eggs in this basket because the Nintendo Switch is kind of like the come up kid. From the ashes of the Wii U rises some of the best hardware for a console that I've ever seen and that many people have also ever seen that agree with me. You don't want to flop on something like this, alright? So Sega, I really am rooting for you. Maybe they have the key to the recipe. Maybe they finally gotten this 3D shit down. I think the last good Sonic game was fucking Generations if I'm not... It, 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 was, it was Generations, I know that for a fact. So anyways... Now, well, I guess some people like Sonic Boom on the 3DS, but it wasn't anything too crazy to me. I mean, I played it, I beat it, and I forgot it in the next day. Now, the trailer they revealed today has a very edgy title, one that I saw on Twitter. And as soon as I saw it on Twitter, I said, oh my god, I have to make a fucking video reaction to this. If you all don't know, I'm getting ready to move out of my apartment. I've been handling a lot of things with that. I've been really, really busy trying to find a new place, make sure its sound is good, so that way I don't bleed to the neighbors and all that. It's uploaded 18 minutes ago on Sonic the Hedgehog's official YouTube page, Sonic 4. Forces custom hero trailer and the guy in the middle of that I don't know who the fuck that is but nigga this is this seems like it's going down that route of extremely cringy kind of um fan-made Sonic characters I'm sorry once more if I seem extremely condescending but it's sort of a meme to be condescending to Sonic the Hedgehog you know what I mean I'm a little bit scared man I don't know do they really mean it in the way that you can perceive from the title like custom characters all the way you mean I can develop my own cold steel the hedgehog Nigga? No way. Let's see. I gotta see this shit. I can't believe it. They really did this shit. Is it cool? If it's cool though, then there's no problem. I hope it's implemented in a really cool way. What is this? Alright, so we got. So, so far, I told you all, I wasn't really looking too impressed with the Sonic Forces stuff. I mean, it looked cool. Interesting concept so far that's been introduced, but the gameplay itself didn't catch me. So it's that new hero arrives. What the fuck is this? It's like you can create a character like Emerald from fucking Sonic Battle. What the fuck is this? Really? Oh no. It really is just like deviant art. You can make Cold Steel the Hedgehog, nigga? It, that is kind of cool, though. Alright, that's a little. Oh, okay. Nani! What the fuck? This is crazy! My nigga, Cold Steel! Create your custom hero. What are the options? This is insane! <laughs> it's deviant art! Oh god! What have we become, nigga? Oh no! <laughs> but. This might be. Whoa! Sega, man, y'all are really pulling out all the fucking tricks in the basket. They finally succumbed to the Sonic community. Okay. This is so insane, dog. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Now you've got my attention, Sega. Finally, you've got my attention. As a fucking viewer, <laughs> as a fan, a longtime fan, someone who's been part of the Sonic Stadium since like 2005. That is different. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm gonna keep up with this from now on in a more serious manner just from all the fucking memes that are potentially possible with this they have been teasing that they were gonna reveal something major today for like the last two three days so oh no <laughs> Alright, custom characters in the newest Sonic game. Now, as you all know, there's two new games coming to the Switch. Mania, which is meant to appease to the old heads, and Forces, which is meant to bring in a bunch of new audience in. They, do, do you think they, they finally, they did it! They really succumbed to this! I have to read the comments of this video! I have to see what these people are saying here, man. I wonder how many people will make characters named Sinos. I'm not sure. I wish I knew what the reference was to that meme. I stopped keeping up with Sonic memes a little while ago. But I know my nigga Cold Steel is going to be somewhere in the comments. Cold Steel the Hedgehog, man. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is the dumbest thing. I fucking love it. That's why I know it's dumb as fuck. This is so ridiculous because it's like 
Sega, they're obviously aware of how many spin-off characters and parody characters and fan-made characters exist in the community. I mean, isn't like fan-made characters the reason why Sonic's palettes and Super Smash Brothers are so limited? So that way they don't infringe on someone else's copyright because there's so many variations of him. So the fact that they made a feature where you can create your own character, and apparently they don't just look like a hedgehog, they look like a bunch of other stuff here. This to me sounds like DeviantArt's wet dream encapsulated in game form, my nigga. You, like, it's so insane here. You can have so many goddamn shippings put together of all these different damn hedgehogs coming. <laughs> like, it's so ridiculous. But didn't they just say the new character will be revealed at E3? Is the custom the new character, or is it just an optional thing? Okay, so maybe there's someone else. I thought from the picture that they showed, like the one, the preview image that said, oh yeah, we have something big to reveal. I thought it was Shadow to an extent, but it looked like him, but it kind of didn't. It was a custom character all along, dog. Let this sink in for a second. This was kind of foreshadowed. Really now? Well, I haven't really been keeping up too hardcore, man. Like I said, I've not... <laughs> it's just... It's just not in me anymore to really be super excited about Sonic games. But this one is an interesting twist. I didn't expect this. I didn't see this shit coming, dog. What do you think about this? Is this a feature which is going to put you on to expecting some great things for Sonic Forces? Are you looking forward to the title now? I definitely am a bit more now. It, my interest is peaked now. It seems as if with this character customization thing, they have a lot of different options here i want to actually see from earlier in the video because it looked like there was a bunch of stuff to choose from like it was a bunch of stuff wait a minute you, okay so you have a bunny rabbit that you can play as a, a lot of clothing options this look like some type of splatoon type shit so custom heroes we have um upper headgear dress up okay um that looks like a cat kind of character and then you have the rabbit looking dude and then you have this guy insane insane <laughs> holy shit all right time will tell if this feature really is going to be what makes this game stand out well it'll stand out 100 percent. but if it's going to make the game good or not that remains to be seen my guys but until then i will talk to you all in the next video take care of yourselves and of course as usual please have yourself a damn good one